Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Valkyria Chronicles 4. Whoop, whoop. With Cody and Cody. Hey. We did it. We really did it. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Three cheers for the hero of the Centurion. Claude. Wow. You are the one who came up with the plan. And you're the one who led us to victory. I think you've earned a little pride, don't you? I'm gonna go enjoy a salt uh, lake. <laughs> I had to bring back the horse jokes. I forgot about them for the longest time. Oh my god. Yeah, see? Giving Claude pause, right. man. I fought to make this mission a success. Who are you going for there? I'm proud of. Victory is a fine thing. But this one feels because a the horse joke than usual, and like on top of the fact that Riley went that Riley was like good job and he's like I don't really feel that good about it but okay are you re it feels like you're really reaching tactics. the captain's don't to me I'm not seeing the connective thread it doesn't matter perfectly. I'm sure everyone on the ship you think whatever you want to think I'm thinking about I still put I still put the modules inside of the glory in, in the shape of an F That's for true. squad F That's for true. fail. <laughs> That's <laughs> true, you did do that off screen. Even I can't deny the glory's components are currently shaped like an F. Uh. And I realized it as I was installing the modules and I went, like, game devs, was that a little too on the nose? I don't think it was intentional, but it's funny. I'm so disappointed we need to see them in the hot air balloon. I'm so disappointed in that. Claude, this celebration's going to go all night if you don't give them some kind of speech. They fight hard, but they party even harder. Damn. You gave one just before the mission, didn't you? Surely you can bookend this with another. Uh, fine. You hear that? No. Exactly. Everyone, there is I'd like to say dead something. air in the background. Pause for alarm. I'm gonna Instead be honest with you all. Just trying to pack you up and you sure let me go. <laughs> I wondered if we should head back. This ship will keep moving forward, but when we look to the future, death stares back at us. Yes, I get it. We're all going to die, Claude. Eventually. We carry on, knowing that we may lose our friends. We may lose our own lives. Okay. It's terrifying. Sometimes I want to run away from it all, turn this ship around, but, but that's not why we're here. Okay, scaredy Claude. We're here to move forward, to protect families back home, and to carry on the will of our fallen comrades. The captain made a decision, and I believed in him. That's all I can ask of you, to believe in his choices and mine. Or not, you know, that's fine too. All we can do is work and fight to the best of our abilities to see that decision to its conclusion. Every soldier on this ship has to stick together, stay strong, and strive toward our goals. <laughs> Someone Ragnarok. has to fight this fight. If we don't take on that burden ourselves, this war will never end. It just stuck a ragnet grenade on its uh, on his neck. Not a grenade. Might as well be. No, it's just the little healy thing. It's the opposite of a grenade. Our children, lovers, friends, sooner or later, the war will find them. They will get hurt, and they will die. Wow, it doesn't even acknowledge that, Ragna uh, that Ragnarok is flat out like the company's pet. It's true. Until a hero rises to finish the fight, these tragedies will keep happening. We all know that by now. Sure, it's a good thing Welkin's out there to do the job for me. <laughs> we can seize victory with our own hands. Okay, the easy there, discount Welkin. Just saying, that's the truth, man. <laughs> to honor those heroes who have already fallen Am I not coming through? To make sure I am, like, deathly quiet. What is up with that? Today. You hear me, right? Yeah, I hear you just okay. fine. It was not coming through very well. On the mic for some reason. We got it now. So. Y'all probably adjusted it when you streamed. No, the last episode was fine. Whatever, it doesn't matter. 
We'll look at it later. Let them tell us that this uh, uh, I'm gonna have to fix that. Victory. <laughs> Why did you do that? To make your life difficult. Uh. <laughs> it's fine. Because I'm sick of Claude giving his, giving his, his speech. speech was too long. His speech was entirely too long, and it went... It, it built to very little. He seemed to like it. What's the matter now? Scaredy Claude making a comeback? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> no, that's not... You know what to do, Miles. Of course. Camera's all set. All right, boys and girls, gather round. Who wants a picture with a future hero? Wait, everyone, please calm down. Please show us the picture. Oh my god. <laughs> Get a load of Claude's face, Kai. Hi? Kai. Okay. I am getting very grumpy with Valkyria 4 and them like they're not doing anything with with Kai as the mole. Not yet. We haven't seen it. Well, let's see where But they give special notice that she's behaving weird and no one's acting on it like, till now. I can see you like painting on the wall. I can read the writing. We also it was also explained very explicitly, but Words are rarely enough to earn trust, I think. Actions speak far louder. A victory of this magnitude is just the push our operation needed. Naturally, a single victory and a rousing speech aren't going to solve all our problems. I tried turning rousing into, uh, into snoozing. Uh-huh. And all I got to, into, and all I got Two was a dousing speech. Dousing speech. Douse that fire. Put that shit out. Just on the stage with like a fire hose. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wallace, you've done a fine job indeed. It makes me think of a guy I used to know. Yeah, man, you go to a concert and they spray everybody with Fago, and then the and then when the concert's over, the only way to get the Fago out is with more Fago. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't like. Apparently, this was a thing that happened. I don't know. I, I've never been to a concert. Yeah, clearly. As somebody who works in concerts. I said, wait, damn it! <sighs> Something's going on. What the hell's wrong with you? You betrayed your comrades. You Shh, nobody knows. Me? I said, let go. I'll let go if you promise not to just run away again. Come on, what the hell's gotten into you? Please, just leave me alone. Like hell I will. This is my problem, Raz. It's got nothing to do with you. It's my problem, too. Why? No kiss. We'll see. Because I'm... I mean, because you... Because we're friends, aren't we? Friends, huh? Fine. You want to know what kind of friend I really am? That's... Wait. No. I've betrayed him. No! Everyone. Where are they going to go with this, though? It makes sense, right? I never could say no to my brother. Ever since we were little. Also, is this not the thing you were just saying you wanted? Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. I... Lena. But I... I can't take this anymore. I can't just do whatever my brother tells me. I can't keep betraying everyone. <sighs> oh my god. Finally! An oh my god, animation. <laughs> Shut up. Just shut up and stay like this for a second. <laughs> Listen to me, all right? 
She does blink. Is that why you did. waited? That's why I waited. <laughs> that was the only reason. I don't give a shit, you understand? I just had a thought. You're not a traitor. And even if you were... Okay. Shocking, I know. Does Raz... Don't hurt yourself now. Yeah. Does Raz remind you of Gene Starwin from Outlaw Star? Nicodemus is getting up. Nicodemus is upset. I was very tempted to just <laughs> drop what I was doing and walk away. <laughs> very it tempted. just hit me. I mean, I, ever since we were kids, I... I... I love you. Finally! People are honest with their feelings! I was waiting what for a big comedic I smooch mean, sound effect. Just... A yeah, like that. It's been hard on you, right? And you regret all of it, and you're... You're not gonna do it again, right? Then forget all this shit! You don't have to worry. Nobody's gonna know if you don't say anything. And Raz, that's how people get court-martialed. <laughs> always listen. You know Claude and Riley, they don't notice anything. If it all goes to hell, <laughs> I'll take the blame for you. I'll go to jail in your place, person who's not who's, who they say I'll they are. I'll do the firing squad thing. <laughs> Don't Wait, worry. He'll shoot her. No. Or he get just shot. volunteered. Okay. So you, that's collusion, by the way. I mean, just, that's aiding and abetting a yeah. unknown criminal. As much as you want. Granted, not to them, but to us. Doesn't matter who I have to Oh, that smile looks weird. Or feds, or, or even Kai. I'll give my life to protect you. <laughs> now he sounds like he's going crazy. Well, he is. That's that's what this is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Might so, as well uh, be. Nothing. I give you my big, dumb, once-in-a-lifetime confession and. You got nothing to say. Dumbass. Huh? Babaka. What? <laughs> like, literally. Fleer hat was shark shaped. Then we could make Sundere shark references. Sundere plane. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you not play uh, Undertale? <laughs> no. That's an enemy. It's the Sundere plane. You, you can get close to it, but not too close. <laughs> Me to trust some idiot who blurts out confidential information where anyone can hear. But <laughs> thank you. I feel like I can breathe again. See, in that situation, I'd have said something brilliant, like, I don't know, how can I trust a spy and just piss her off all over again? <sighs> <sighs> Tiny picture of rats. About the other stuff. Something about that. Can I have some time to think it over? Oh shit! I did it! I actually said it! <laughs> Mass Effect abridged. Mass Effect abridged. Well, bang, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know the clip. Well, bang, okay. Can we get a can we get a, a supercut? Comp dumb compilation of uh, of voice clips from this, and it's just Claude saying really creepy shit to people. <laughs> well, bang, okay. I like your ass. Uh, you know, I can happily take, I can happily butcher some audio down <laughs> and see what you get, and see what I get. Oh man. Oh, the and then we can overdub it over something over the. But anything, anything, like so long, and I could even go so far as to redo some of the type, type casing the there, type set, yeah. the typeset, and then I can, I can make it say whatever I want it to say. Jesus, is that evil? I think that's a little, I think that's a little horrible. It's the type of dedication that I admire. Angie, she is inside the thing. She was inside the thing, and now she's not in the thing. Also, why'd they give her a name before- whatever. Angie. Short for Angelica. Dun dun dun. Hi, Angie. Do you remember anything besides your name? Yeah. I like bread. Oh, fuck. Not this again. Hmm. Judging by her appearance, I don't think she's from the Empire. 
Nobody, nobody looks like that in the Empire. I don't think anybody looks like that on this fucking whole planet in this game. I'm sorry. That's not true. Who's the mascot for Wendy's? On that planet. <laughs> on planet Gunsmoke, because she's a plant. <laughs> oh, no, it's okay. Just take your time. I really brought that around on you. <laughs> I wasn't prepared. <laughs> Riley's got the big red coat on and the hair slip back. Her hair just stands up on it. It's like, it's the tall Paul from Tekken. It's like three feet high. <laughs> We're way off the rails. Focus up, focus up. I'm sure the amnesia is only temporary, so I'd say the best choice is to let her I'm rest having a hard time. Yep. On Can you look after her, Doctor? <laughs> the top <laughs> Have you not? Have, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay. Vaguely. I'm googling it, and I'm gonna show you. And you're gonna be. <laughs> I've heard the name numerous times. This, if you can believe that. Come on, Riley. Let's get going. All right. Bye, Angie. <laughs> it's so good. Show me that. Show me that. That memeage. All right. For ready? the sin I'm gonna bin. dramatically scroll the screen too. Ready? <laughs> all right. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the tall ball is so fucking awesome. Just take a minute. Sit right there. <laughs> you are not ready for tall ball. Let's just sit with that for a minute. <laughs> Oh shit! Uh, <laughs> that stupid mustache. <laughs> it looks like he's wearing a. a it looks like a, a golden chef. <laughs> it's so good. He looks like Doug Dimmadome. <laughs> if his hair still. <laughs> You, are you gonna be okay? No. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's completely off the rails. I tried to bring it back and it went even worse. Oh, I overcorrected. Oh god. <laughs> did the dramatic scroll help? <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Oh, I love Tekken. It's so stupid. Oh my god. But he has a dumb voice he's too. No, to he sounds him. normal. <laughs> but he's from Tekken, so everything is stupid. <sighs> Certainly. Oh god. From the loss, Bradley would make a, a an excellent tall <laughs> Paul. He'd be. <laughs> yeah, she would. <laughs> Maybe you could show her around the ship a little, Riley. You think that'd be okay? As long as you don't enter the restricted <clears throat> areas. She's been bedridden for a while. Some exercise would do her good. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> Paul. <laughs> Just a relapse. It's happening. What do you think, Angie? Wanna go for a walk with me? Aren't they gonna ask- No, they can't. They already said she has amnesia. I was gonna be like, aren't they gonna ask her where the fuck she came from? And the answer is no. They can't, because... Amnesia. Ooh! <laughs> I guess that's the the name of this episode. The, tall, the tall, tall, tall Paul. <laughs> oh man, what a fucking trip that was. That was like two solid minutes of just you heaving. <laughs> Belger. <laughs> All right, Balthazar. You know what he reminds me of? His eyes look the, like that of Neji Hugo. He, yeah. I was All gonna right. say he just. I think I said it before. He just looks like a Gundam villain. Yeah, I does. Well, okay, this this might as well be a Gundam reskin. So. Yeah. I've just reviewed the reports. Ship two was discovered at the bottom of the crevasse, I believe. Of the crevasse. Yes, quite. Yes, my lord. <laughs> well done. Very commendable. Oh. Thank you, my lord. Did he like? put them into a situation expecting them to fail? It's That's not, cl it's not clear leadership. yet. But, regrettably, there we go. Say the same for the choices that followed. <sighs> Just gonna put it out there that the track, the backing track, well done. It is good. 
and they are both very animated. And followed its course instead of attacking it, they might not have escaped. Damn, here we go. I believe my instructions were very clear, were they not? Yes, my lord. Tiny capes. <laughs> tiny capes. Look at the tiny capes. Tiny capes, no capes. Not the like normal kind of that, love. The, this whole scene just just so makes creepy. skin crawl. Yes. Yeah, just yeah. a bit. I do this because I love you very, very much. I'm having um season two Heaven's Lost Property flashbacks. Yeah, that's a that is a hell of a pull, but I'm taking it. Um, yeah, I, mm -hmm. let's begin. Electroshock therapy, just yes, got the probes. Thank you for your kindness. You need to thank me. I do all of this for you, my friends. After this, everything should go much more smoothly. Did you ever watch Harmon Quest? Yes, without a doubt. It was a sh it was a uh, VRV exclusive show that with Dan Harmon, the guy who did. Uh, I don't remember. Community. No, I don't think so. It's him and his buddies are playing D and D. Uh huh. And w one of the guest characters in the first episode is a girl who's never pl a woman who's never played D and D before, and so she just reads off her stat sheet and just kind of looks at the situation, and goes, "What do I do with this?" I don't understand. A gift yes. from above, Angelica. Ha 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 ha. Took me a second, and. One of the one of the lines that Dan uses. When you can go to the next page without reading the scene. Because it's an it's an interlude and extra. Something to protect. Oh. Brass has mad dog. Oh no, secret admirer. Okay. Interesting. The glossary has been updated. New articles. The place I'm going with this right, is I that. I gotta know. Is that Dan makes the uh, the reference that a captainless squad? Yeah, these are other things. Don't worry about that. We'll do that later. That's a whole other thing. Um, <laughs> you oh, that sure? Was cool. Yeah, I'm sure. Those are other things. Long story short, uh, he's telling one of the other party members that every single time that this uh, that this new this guest character shows up with food, he eats it, and underneath underneath the food is a note that says "Got ya." And ah! I was, and I'm looking at the two, at the two uh, Chiara and Nicola, and I'm like, that's them. Anytime they give food to someone, there's some kind of, there's some kind of trick. In the next episode, we'll explore what's wrong with Angelica's face. Oh my God! What's wrong with your what's face? Wrong? What's wrong with your <laughs> face? Wonderful. There you go. Alternatively, we should probably get to at least one squad story because we said we were going to do that. Oh yeah, we did. So say we'll we do were going that, to that instead. We'll do a squad story in the next couple episodes for the next couple episodes. Don't worry. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch at the Crumple Zone. Uh, Chapter twelve, Midnight Run. Okay. Um, that was this episode. Woo! Uh, Tell me, let me. Know, I'm going to put out a video. May it's, it's probably already out by now because it's going up at the end of the week. What you want me to play independently on my own? I'll put up a poll, but I've got a couple of things listed. I've got a couple of things listed on there, so give me a heads up on what you guys want to see. What are you doing? I don't know. Oh, I thought you were okay. Never mind. The episode's over. Bye. Bye bye.